Hi guys. I wanted to talk to you guys about um, concepts of self-sabotage because that is something that we tend to do a lot. Um, not everybody, please hear me. When I'm giving statements like this, I'm giving generalizations. So I know that it applies to some people very specifically and to some not so much. And that's awesome if you're one that it's a some not so much. But self-sabotage is a really interesting thing because we tend to do it quite inherently and quite easily. Um, we're often really quick to put ourselves down and the question is, is why? Why is that so easy? And I'm speaking to you guys about this because um, I always like to speak on things that I've either had an experience in um, or have a real divine understanding of because to simply read something and regurgitate it is just giving information, which is great. But to give something based on an experience I always think has so much more energy, uh, wisdom, if you want to call it that, um, but a practicality to it. And so the idea of self-sabotage is, I remember when I was becoming, uh, becoming a medium, I guess I could say it that way, and I had an opportunity to meet with this other medium, and he said he would sit and talk with me because I just wanted information, you know? And I went in there ready to pepper him with a whole bunch of questions, and I sure did. I had, I think I kept asking and asking and asking all kinds of different things for like an hour straight. And uh, he answered all of them. And by the time I was done, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, so many of the things he said I resonated with. And so many of the things made so much sense to me. And I know this, and I know that, and I know this. And I was on such a high because first of all, finally, I knew for a fact I wasn't crazy and then the other thing was that there was other people out there like me so I wasn't alone but I also wasn't crazy and so this was really huge for me and I remember you know I shook his hand and I thanked him so much but from the moment of leaving him and walking out the door and going back into my car by the time I got in my car and was driving out of the parking lot I was already going into a theme of thoughts of no that can't actually be me no, he's a medium, I'm actually not. Who am I to even think that I could even compare to him? Because who am I? I'm not anyone special. I'm not anything in particular in this. And then I went home and was super bummed out and felt like I was lost. But I did it all to myself because I went from the super high of acknowledgement and awareness and aha moments and clarity and then just dove down so fast into, no, that's not me, that's not possible. And why? Why on earth did I do that? Because oftentimes we seem to be conditioned to think that we couldn't possibly. And yes, there are some people that are just born into this world with this amazing sense of knowing their abilities. But for other people, it takes a little while of trial and error to figure it out. And so I just thought in myself, there's no way I could be. It just, it's not me. And if I look back now and I think, oh my gosh, like how sad in that moment that the me then felt so deeply that that wasn't me because if I look at where I am now, I'm very confident and um, secure in my gift of mediumship in readings and for other people and to channel information like that. And I feel a lot of peace around it. But I remember that day where I had the highs of the understanding and then sabotaged myself into being a nobody in my mind. And you know, I can even say that I experienced that in singing when I used to sing. I'd be backstage and there's all the other artists backstage and you know, you're waiting to go on and you're hearing this person sing and this person sing and, and I would convince myself that I don't belong there because nobody wants to hear this soft voice. I don't have the big soulful, deep, uh, all encompassing voice. And so I thought, why, why am I here? I shouldn't be here. Nobody wants to hear me. And I would just self-sabotage like no other. And then just before they would call my name to go on stage, I somehow would find this energy to just kind of smack myself in the butt, get on stage and perform and love it and feel amazing and walk off stage being like, oh my gosh, I have a place here. You know, and it's like, these roller coasters of self-sabotage that we tend to do and I inherently believe that we don't actually want to sabotage. We don't actually want to because it's nice to feel nice and happy and fulfilled. But the thing is, is if we're not conscious of our 
thoughts and our actions. And if we don't have a willingness to feel like we are deserving of goodness and deserving of abundance and deserving of reaching our goals and our aspirations and desires, then we're never going to be able to sit in the moment of feeling peace once we get there. Even if we got all of the things, we would self-sabotage out of it. So it comes down to deservingness. And why don't we feel deserving? Because if, for those of you that are parents or even those with loved ones, you wouldn't hesitate one second to absolutely wholeheartedly believe in the abilities of your children so your, your, of your children or your loved ones. You would absolutely wholeheartedly believe in their abilities. You wouldn't sabotage their abilities to achieve what they want, right? So why do we do that to ourselves? We don't feel worthy. We don't feel deserving. We feel maybe if we think we're worthy or deserving, then that means we're ego-based, but it doesn't. Life isn't meant to be a massive struggle all the time. We're allowed to live happiness within this 3D realm that we live in. So it's just something to ponder on self-sabotage. Are you doing it? Maybe you're not. If you're not, that's awesome. But if you are and there's moments you can catch yourself, maybe in those moments you can choose to start to think differently and think you know, what would I think if this was somebody else? What would I say? And start saying those things to you. Start being your greatest supporter. Be your advocate for you in your life and abundance. You are worth it.